Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend review. Brought to you by First NBC Bank with 39 locations throughout the metro New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. Hope you had a great Christmas. I know we did, and the Saints certainly did. They enjoyed their victory over a team that came in here with a chance to make the playoffs in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 31-24 final. And this game was indicative of the way the Saints have played lately and pretty much most of the year, Lenny. Good offensively and at least of late good enough in other phases to win opportunistic maybe the right word you know the the encouraging thing that i saw was obviously a continuation of what we've seen on offense for much of the year with a couple of blips along the way but we finally saw the jarris bird show up on saturday that saints thought they were getting three years ago you know in you know in almost three years with this team going into saturday he had created Two takeaways. He had a fumble recovery in the very first game he played with the Saints at Atlanta, by the way, where they're headed next week, and one interception. And he came up with two interceptions in the second half that really were two of the key plays in that game, allowing the Saints uh, you know, to hold off the Buccaneers. Well, the question will be what will happen with Jarris Bird at season's end with the contract situation expiring. That's going to be a decision to make. My guess is that they might try to keep him, but at a far lesser rate. That depends on the marketplace. And frankly, I, I don't know if the marketplace will be that big for him based upon what he's done over the past few years and his age. Yeah, exactly. I mean, now he's a, you know, now he's a, you know, a veteran out there. And look, you've got some guys, you know, you've you got to like what Roman Harper has probably done in that meeting room with that team this year. You know, he's, you know, he's clearly up in years, uh, but... You know, can can Bird continue to be that kind of guy in some way, shape, or form? And you know, look, if if you're releasing him, you're going to take a hit. And there's so much dead money that's out there, uh, you know, in terms of this team. Although it does get better next year and the following year, but you've got to manage that. And that's all decisions that will start. They're probably starting to be thought about, but really they will kick in come next week once the regular season is over Sunday in Atlanta. And of course, when you look at what's to come, the Falcons are up on. Sunday, as mentioned, and this is a team in Atlanta that they're in. They've won the division, so you wonder about how they're going to approach this game. Well, it's very simple. They're going to play everybody because if they win, they're the number two seed. Now, they could get some help. Uh, you know, if Seattle loses, then they're the number two seed regardless. But, you know, they, they know win and they get a bye, uh, you know, get a week off. Then you give your guys a break. So, you know, you want that chance to at least be able to, to take a break, Play a game at home very possibly. You know, if it ends up being Seattle, if that's the two three game, let's say, I think you'd much rather play Seattle in your building than have to make that trip out west. So that's kind of the way things shake out for them. Obviously for the Saints, you just want to feel good about going into the off season. Yeah, it hasn't been that often that they've gone into the following season on a winning streak. Obviously the Super Bowl year where you had to, you know, make a run through the playoffs. There's been a couple of others out there. But, but to end the season on a three-game winning streak, you already ended the hopes, basically, of Tampa Bay. It would take an absolute, uh, you know, if you thought the odds were, were long for the Saints going into last week, go look and see what has to happen for the Bucks to make the playoffs. It includes a tie. Just throw that out there. But if you could effectively end the Bucks' playoff hopes and then put a dent into the Falcons' playoff hopes by maybe, you know, denying them a first-round bye, while you don't get in, you'd have to feel some satisfaction from, from doing some damage to your division rivals. Pelicans have now won two straight after beating Dallas on Monday night. Uh, and again, this has been who they are. They can beat a lot of the bad teams. They haven't beat any good teams. They've only gotten two wins against teams with winning records, and those have come against Eastern teams in Charlotte and Boston. Now the Clippers come to town, and the Clippers have just drilled them twice, once by 18, once by 28. No Blake Griffin, but it looks like Chris Paul will be back for this game. Right. Now keep in mind when they played the Clippers uh, – out in LA last time there was no Anthony Davis so it's uh you just you know you gotta you know that's a good team and but sir, sooner or later down the line you have to beat some better teams and look this this five game homestand was a chance for them you know try to start building some momentum in the right direction two and one thus far two games to go uh and look it doesn't get any easier uh you know after this homestand you got to go to Cleveland next Monday night so it's it's not going to get any easier. You got to take the opportunities when they present themselves, and that includes beating the teams you're supposed to beat, like they did against Dallas, like they did last week against Philadelphia. Nice comeback win against Miami as well. Yeah, six of seven road games coming up after this five game homestand. So obviously, they've got to find a way to make some hay 
and beat a good team like the Clippers and then maybe beat the Knicks and then their homestand will have been successful. Bottom line is they're three games out of the eighth spot in the West, which is the Kings right now who have won four straight, but uh, that's not a real good team. And DeMarcus Cousins, while he's a great player, uh, at any point in time could implode. Oh, certainly. And look, the eighth spot, is, look, back, back when, remember, look, when the Pelicans – you know, finished eighth in the West two years ago. They had to win 45 games, I think it was, to do it. It's not going to take 45 games, but still, you've dug yourself a pretty big hole here, what, nine under, nine, 10 under 500 to be able to climb back up. If you're going to get, if you think 500 is that magic mark, it's about what it was last year. That means you got to play 10 over the rest of the way in the season. You got, what, 50 games left at this point? So you're talking 30 and 20 the rest of the way, somewhere in there, give or take a game. That's not going to be easy. But obviously, his team has the talent that, when they're healthy and put it all together, that that certainly they could uh, they could reach somewhere close to that. LSU getting ready for its bowl game against a Heisman Trophy winner, and that's going to be an interesting game to say the least. And of course, the All State Sugar Bowl coming up as well. Yeah, LSU actually arriving in Orlando later Tuesday. The Sugar Bowl teams, Auburn and Oklahoma, arriving in New Orleans on Tuesday as well. So. This is this is the week that matters in terms of bowl games. We've had a lot of the prelims, if you will, thus far, and uh, you know, look, it's it's good to be able to see football just about every night and seemingly every hour of the day at this point of the year. But uh, you're starting to get to the games that are you know more significant. And of course, you got the college football playoff semifinals Saturday with Alabama, Washington, with Clemson, Ohio State. That people will be watching very closely as well. That's our first NBC Bank weekend preview, or review, I should say, brought to you by First NBC Bank with 39 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. Have a great week. All right, you too. All right. For Lenny, I'm Kenny. You have a great week as well. God bless.